Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about how to uh, add classes to your Web Forms for Marketers buttons. Um, this is something that you can do uh, and typically would want to do if you um, are customizing the form and customizing specifically the button to um, have different classes. Uh, so for example, if you're using Bootstrap, uh, you would typically have button primary, but let's say you wanted, or button default, uh, but let's say you wanted button secondary, for example. How would you define that? Um, I've worked with a lot of front end developers who get web form markers and they don't understand that you could customize what classes are added to the buttons. Um, and they're always trying to, uh, you know, add and apply different classes and use hooks to kind of changes the styles of the, of the forms, but you can actually customize it from the uh, Sitecore interface as well. So um, this is not something you necessarily would do from the experience editor or a form designer. It's actually something that you would do from the content editor. So let's go into the content editor and go to where web forms markers lives inside the content tree. Uh, so it lives inside system modules, web forms markers. And then you'll notice that there's kind of the folders uh, for where you can kind of categorize your forms, but also there's a settings area. So if we open up settings, you'll notice that it has a lot of different uh, kind of settings or configuration for web forms markers. We've talked about this before in some of my other training sessions about save actions and potentially format verification uh, actions that you can do. Um, but we're gonna kind of focus on metadata. So this is kind of an area where you can put a bunch of different options uh, you can customize by adding additional options or you if you are building some sort of custom field you could actually add your own options in here and categorize them under some sort of common folder uh, to, to kind of organize them but um, the, the option I'm going to show today is the submit button type so if we open up this you'll notice that there is not an option for secondary which is what I'm going to show uh, in this session. Um, I will note that there's a lot of other things in here. If you want to change MVC form alignment, um, if you wanted to add uh, form types. So all these options add a value, although this doesn't seem to have one, but this one does. So that value is, is typically a class name that, that your uh, CSS class or CSS or less or SAS or whatever you're using would kind of attach to and allow you to make customizations to your form. Um, so other things is uh, button sizes. You can actually change the button size. And this here again is just adding a different class um, to your, it, so when I'll show this in a second where I, I go into a form and I customize these options, but um, you could basically do different, um, basically selecting different ones, apply different classes. So to add a new submit button type of secondary is what I'm going to create here. I'm going to go and do insert from template. And then I'm going to go down to web forms markers. It's at the very bottom. And then I am going to what it's called off the top of my head. I think it's a metadata and extended list item is what it's called. So now I want to call it secondary. Uh, the naming convention over here was all lowercase. It doesn't really matter really, uh, but we'll just keep with that naming convention of, of keeping it all lowercase. So we're just going to call it secondary. Click insert. And now we have secondary, but we should also give it a value. So button secondary, for example. That would be the class name that's applied when you select secondary button type. Um, so now, how would you assign these options uh, to your form? So here again, is this is not something that you would do through the experience editor or the form designer. This would all happen within um, the content editor. So if we go down to one of these sample forms, for example, and we open up tell a friend and we click on the tell a friend uh, main item, the main form item, um, and if we start scrolling down, you'll see that there's a lot of options here. Uh, a lot of these options are, are present in the form designer, but a lot of these are also uh, unique to just this interface. Um, so now you'll start seeing that there's some additional options here. Form type, this 
related to that, one of those options that we had where we had basic horizontal inline. Um, form alignment, this is just the alignment. And like I said, these are just applying classes. Um, and you know, also you have the ability to customize additional options if you want. Uh, custom CSS classes if you'd like. Uh, submit button uh, position. So this would uh, add, like I said, different classes uh, to the submit button to center it default. If default is selected, obviously it wouldn't have a class selected and uh, left or right would apply the appropriate um, classes for that. Um, and then lastly is a submit button type. This is what I just added. So now you can actually see secondary is an option. Uh, but you can obviously select some of these other options as well. Um, and, and size is just another thing. It, it allows you to select an option which will apply a class on the front end. So that's pretty much it. Um, so if you ever need uh, to you know, customize the buttons or even customize some of the other options, what forms markers, which I'll eventually do another session on this in, in kind of greater detail. But uh, this is some of the, the ways you could do this. Um, maybe I'll do a, a training session on more CSS uh, heavy uh, topics for more of the front end developers that work on site for. Uh, that would be helpful. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel, re feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or on any of my other social channels. Um, I'm quite active on Stack Exchange as well. So feel free to just ask questions on there and maybe I'll answer or maybe one of the other. Uh, Sitecore experts will will respond.